Hello friends and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name's Shauna and it's lovely to meet you. So today, my mom's actually visiting me and she's been here for the past two or three days. And we've spent our time pretty much quite near. Um, we've just been having walks in Leith and down at New Haven. But today we're venturing out a little bit further to Collington. And we have been to Collington before, but it was maybe about two years ago, maybe two years ago. And we really enjoyed it. It's just a little bit further and that's why we haven't been back yet. But it's about an hour on the bus and we're just going to be leaving very soon. And last time we were in Collington, we explored some of it, but we didn't get a chance to... Um, I feel like every time you visit a place for the first time, you sort of visit its sort of popular bits. You know, we went to um, the Collington Railway Tunnel, which we will be going to again today to show you. And we also just had a look about some of its landmarks, but we're looking forward to just exploring it further today, maybe having a walk in Collington Dell. And last time we were there, we had a really nice tea and cake, I think, at the Swing Cafe, which is inside, um, I think, a church that maybe Robert Louis Stevenson, it has connections with Robert Louis Stevenson. If I'm not wrong, it was maybe his grandfather that was the minister there, but that could be completely wrong. That's just from memory. <laughs> um, so I think we're going to try and have lunch there. Um, it closes at 2 o'clock and it's currently half 11 so we're just going to leave in a couple of minutes to go and get the bus and hopefully we'll be there in time for lunch and then we'll just bring you along for a very, very relaxing, very casual wander around the area. Anyway, I better get going. Hi there. Thank you. in Collington or nearby anyway and now we're just gonna make our way over to the swing cafe for some lunch We've had a lovely lunch. It's starting to rain a little bit, just a little bit of drizzle, but we're still going to continue. I actually considered bringing an umbrella with me today, but it might just be too windy for an umbrella anyway. But thankfully we both have hoods. Um, and now we're just going to set off for a little wonder and see where we end up.
it's still raining a little bit but we're making the most of it we've got our hats and our hoods so we're not too bad and now we're just having a little wonder and I think hopefully I'm on the right path to go to the Collington Tunnel We've made it in the tunnel and just at the right time because it's absolutely pouring now. I'll have to turn the camera around so that you can see it. Maybe you can hear it already. still raining but not as bad and when we were walking along this path here we spotted um, a little cafe kind of like a bookshop as well and they're only open on Fridays and today happens to be a Friday and we're just looking for something to get out of the rain <laughs> to do as well so that's where we're going next
I'm back home and before I finish the video I just wanted to sort of have a chat about our lovely time in Collington because there are some things that I didn't get a chance to tell you on the day because of the weather or just kind of feeling a little bit tired um, towards the end and the main thing is the Pit Stop Cafe I think it's called and it's within this building called The Shed locally and it used to be the coach house I believe to um, Spy Law House and it's in Spy Law Park so when we were walking along the cycle path towards the Collington Tunnel, we happened to look down and see that there were lots of people having teas and coffees and cakes and there looked like there was a bookshop as well. So that piqued our curiosity and it turned out that that was their first um, sort of first day with the Pit Stop Cafe within the shed. So that was really fun. That was very spontaneous and it was sort of a right place, right time moment because we were in need of a cup of tea and a cake after being caught in the rain. <laughs> and everyone was so friendly. We got a chance to talk to the locals and they told us about this project that they're working on um, to refurbish the shed and turn it from being a very sort of pop-up kind of cafe at the moment into a proper building where artists will be using the top floor for studio space and the bottom will be a cafe. So it's so exciting to see where this might go. And then, so it's not technically a bookshop, but in order to raise funds as well, they, I think they said that some of these books they take to like local markets or something. I just realized my posture is terrible. <laughs> um, they take these books to local markets, I think, and sort of raise funds. And there was shelves of them, so many books. Um, and I got four, four books. And I thought I would just share with you what I picked up. Whoops. Um, so the first one is just to add to my Ian Fleming James Bond collection. I have quite a few of the books. Um, I'm a big fan of the Audible James Bond series of um, audiobooks, so I really enjoyed listening to Casino Royale. Um, I, tried, I think it might be Dan Stevens that read that one, I could be wrong though. So I, I don't have a copy of it, so it was one pound, everything, all the books were a pound, so I picked up this copy. And then, um, well, I've saved the best or the most interesting for last. The next book, I know that you're not meant to judge a book by its cover, but I very much did. And this cover um, influenced me to, to get the book. It just looked really interesting and um, I'd never heard of it before. So I thought I would give it a shot. And then this one is a nostalgic one that my mum spotted. We are big Wind in the Willows fans. I loved like listening to the book when I was little. My mum would read it to me. I also loved the the cartoon and the movie as well <laughs> when I was little. So whenever I see, I actually have another, maybe I should get that book for you as well. Whenever I see old copies of Wind in the Willows in charity shops or anywhere, I can't resist just picking them up and bringing them home to add to my collection. So this is a really lovely copy in my opinion. And the illustration is just so lovely. And I think they've got illustrations throughout as well. Oh, they do. Oh, they're so lovely. Hang on, I'm just trying to find the best one to show you. Um, Actually, this one's just a fun one, just to be in. There you go. And there they are, knocking on Badger's door. Um, yeah, so that is really fun. I don't know what the, the book... Oh, that's nice, actually. A really nice um, hardback, even without the, um, the sleeve. So that is the third book. Let me just go and run and get the other Wind in the Willows book that I picked up from a charity shop recently too. Hang on, it's not in great condition and I felt sorry for it, one second. So this is the other copy and it is not in good condition <laughs> compared to the one I just showed you. Um, it just says it on the spine there. Look how sad it looks. But it says Kenneth Graham. Um, and it almost looks like it's handwritten on. I. I don't know if that's just the owner that has done that. I'm pretty sure it is just handwritten, so it must have lost its sleeve. And then what was really sweet, it has a message inside. So yeah, to Tof, maybe, from Dad. And it says, there's a date as well, um, the 9th of May, 1941. So I couldn't resist bringing that home. So these two will go together on my Wind in the Willows <laughs> collection. And the last one, it's not really the book that is particularly of interest, even though I am looking forward to reading it. It's what I found inside the book. Again, another note. 
So the book is Cider with Rosie and it's by Laurie Lee, is that correct? Yes, Laurie Lee. And uh, my mum's heard of this book and I think it's quite a famous book. Apologies for my ignorance, but um, it also has really nice illustrations inside, which is always fun. And the thing that is fun is this fell out when I was flicking through the book and it's a little note from somebody to someone. Um, it's, I, I hope they're okay with me reading this, but it's from, I think it's Kiara um, to Abigail. And it says, I know I'm supposed to send you a copy of my favorite book, but that was too difficult a task. So I have sent you one of my favorites. I hope you haven't read it yet. The chapter about his mother used to reduce me to tears. In fact, quite a lot of it used to have um, the same effect, I think. I hope you get to receive loads of other great books as part of this chain. So it must be some kind of book sending club of some kind. Um, so that's really fun. I'm just gonna keep it in there to keep it nice and safe. But yeah, I just wanted to finish this video with sharing the books that I picked up because it seemed unfair to show um, so many books and not share with you what I ended up getting. Anyway, I've talked a lot longer than I was planning to. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a lovely day wherever you are and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. <laughs>